So hello, this is Pat Gunn, and I'm just showing off the changes that have been going on in my Minecraft world since I last did one of these. So I think the last time I was here, um, I had my main base here. Might not have, might not have had these two additional chests. Um, I've been starting to collect terracotta and doing a little bit of baking it to get some of this uh, nice glazed look. I haven't yet decided what to do with it. But there's that, and then I've just started collecting some of, some more miscellaneous stuff over here that was cluttering my other locations. I have two more skulkers. Um, in any case, I've done a, I've made some reasonably significant advances. Um, but yeah, the, the base over here looks pretty much the same. I just pop back in to repair my pickaxe, probably for the last time, because as you can see, I'm back, I'm at level two. It, this was a fairly expensive renovation to this pickaxe, and I don't think I can really do it again. Um, in the main area, this is near the center of my, uh, Minecraft world. I've only made a few changes. I have a few ideas that I'm playing with. I think I'm going to probably make a street and build some houses there and build a village somewhere maybe near this initial area. I just need to get enough clear space to do it and I'm going to have a road and just do that kind of plan village uh, and try and give it a, a bit of a modern feel. Again, I'm not that accomplished of a mine, uh, Minecraft uh, construction person, but the way that you get better at these things is you practice. Now, we're coming up a little bit on one of the changes <clears throat> that I made. Um, this mountain here, I think I would like to get rid of it. And so I'm starting to dig down the sides uh, and replace the sides of the track here um, just with gaps. I built a tunnel at the ground level that goes all the way through the mountain, more or less under here, but I would like to eventually get rid of this entire uh, mountain. But I haven't been working on it too actively. I've been also just trying to get rid of some of the gravel on the sides, but that, that got me thinking maybe I should just take it the rest of the way. Um, we'll pop down and, and see what it looks like once I get this minecart back in its uh, initial position. I've kept on building some of these uh, some of these bamboo sprouts just because I think it's kind of a neat look but yeah so probably in the the last time I was doing the video I didn't have quite as much of an expanse of uh, of things working their way out uh, uh, not as much of an expanse uh, of things having been flattened. And here we can see the underside of all that. Um, we can see this, this tunnel that goes all the way through. And then there's some additional tunnels at higher levels that go all the way through. There, there's more work to do to get it all the way up to where I can just carve off this entire section of mountain and then maybe go after the mountain there. But basically right now what I'm thinking is that once I have all this flattened out, then, then I'll start my village idea. My, my entirely man-made village idea. But I'm not entirely sure that this is the right place to do it. I don't remember if I had this here back then. But I have this kind of neat entryway down. Like, you, you heard spiders from up above. So a lot of this, this is the original uh, land beneath. And I just thought, yeah, it's neat to be able to pop down. Um, but the rest of this is mostly the same. I've made this a nice reinforced looking stairway and carved out a lot of the mountain that was previously supporting it there. And I'm starting to go at this mountain here. Um, I'm probably going to leave it like this because I like having a, a stairwell going up to there and I like having the water coming down to feed my farms here. I guess it's starting to get to be nighttime, so I'll just take a quick nap. But I'm st I just I want to keep on slowly transforming my first base, and that's what this is more or less. I mean, I think that there might have been a base on this location that I set up really quickly, 
when I was just getting started uh, with with Minecraft. I think this is my second world. Um, my my first world, I didn't really I didn't know at all what I was doing. In this world, I'm I did it in a. I did it uh, in survival mode uh, from the start, and I think I, I more know what I'm doing. I'm not sure if I'm ever going to give up this world. Maybe when the Cliffs and Caves update comes about. Um, now here, I suspect probably by, by the last video I'd already started converting a lot of this uh, ground to soil and filling in a lot of this stuff with, uh, with glass just for additional safety. Now over here... Oh, okay, yeah. yeah so this is something new and I'll, I'll just pop over and show one of the things I've been working on here is that assuming I stick with this world after Cliffs and Caves, I, would, I wanted to have an area where I had never visited in the overworld that whenever I pop through the Nether portal, it'll get all of the new terrain generation um, just as soon as I pop through. And I imagine once I do this, I'll probably end up spending a lot of time just playing around in the new area. But I wanted to be prepared for that. And so I just decided, let's pick a direction, start digging a good long ways in that direction, so that when I pop out, I'll really be like out in the in a new frontier. And so that's what this is. Um, those are some interesting noises that I don't recognize. Anyhow. I haven't yet built rail all the way out to where I'm talking about. I think this is probably the end. Yeah, this is the one base that I've built in this direction so far. Uh, and, like, I do like to play around a little bit uh, with in, in the areas, but if I remember right, where I decided to, uh, to keep going is much further in this direction. So we're just going to take a stroll off in this direction so that I can show... I wanted to make this a little more magnificent. And so I started to build an area in the Nether that would have different architectural styles than I've had before. And, uh, hmm. And I wanted to give it a feel of, like, this is the transition to a new world. Even though, like, if I were to just construct an ether portal now and pop through it, it would kind of ruin it. Now, it's kind of neat that I ended up going through a bunch of these, uh, I think, are these bastions? I can never keep it straight, for, uh, fortresses versus bastions. But I, I came across a bunch of these on my way out here, which is fortuitous. Let's keep going. And yeah, I, I should make rail to rapidly convey me uh, across here. And I should also get some more glass to fill in some of these scary side areas because I don't want to have to deal with the ghasts messing everything up. One, one other thing that I've started to do is use um, is to light some terrain on fire to create light. Um, before I wasn't doing so much of that, but now I think I like the way it looks. It might be the texture pack I'm using. I haven't actually played the game without a texture pack for a while. Here's another one. And maybe there's a more traditional entrance over here. But yeah, just I think I came across three of these on the way out, uh, out here. I don't think... I've, I've explored... I've explored these to a moderate extent, and I probably could explore them a little bit more because there very well could be things that I missed. But... 
I'm not in a huge rush to do that. me from over there. Oh, but your crossbow wielding dudes can shoot me. Yeah, so I, I probably should come through and improve some of this stuff. Um, definitely there. I don't want to have to deal with being shot on the way out here. It is a long journey, and I guess one of the things I'm not sure about is after Caves and Cliffs, do I immediately... Do you suffer damage if you... No, you don't. Okay, just curious. Um, I was thinking about plugging that, but I actually think it looks kind of cool. So I might not do that. And here, I've, I've started to build some of these walls up just because I had issues with ghasts shooting fireballs and uh, messing up my previous paths. But I, I love the terrain generation. I think it's nice that if you just start wandering off in a direction, you very well might. Uh, even though, like, this is using the same terrain generation that I'm really used to, I'm still seeing new things. And that's neat. So we keep on going. I think somewhere around here should be the third, third one of those giant structures, probably. At some point, I should probably turn off this texture pack and just get a reminder what it's like here. I just built a little safe house. Just if I want to rest for a little bit. Not much of a point since you can't have a bed, but. Such a weird. It feels almost, almost like, like like blood out there. Oh. What is going on? Okay, we're. Are you gonna pop down? Yeah, I guess you will. I think they don't like to walk too close to the zombie. Uh, piglins. So, <laughs> yeah, level three. Now it would be nice to slowly start cl uh, clawing those levels back up, so that the next time I want to enchant a pickaxe, uh, I'm at level thirty and can actually get some good enchantments on the thing. Ooh. As, As I'm recording, recording this, it's late November. I'm a little, little bit nervous about those guys, guys particularly when I'm, um, when I'm when I'm walking on Netherrack, because, because if they shoot, shoot a fireball, fireball they're going to blow out part of the floor, and I don't, don't want to have to deal with potentially falling. Okay. Oh, and there's the other one. Yeah. So that's, that's what, what I was talking about. about. Um, I think I, think I just saw it over to the right, and I thought, let's build a bridge over to it. it. That's what I did. So, so yeah, yeah, we're, we're still, still getting, getting some of this fantastic architecture, and still get a little kick out of doing that. And here, here I, I think we're starting, starting to get, get into the right area for my gate. gate for what I labeled back there on the sign is a Deep Umbra. That's, that's a reference to Mage Ascension, Ascension which is a role-playing game that uh, I've never played, but I've really been enjoying the world building for. to be careful. We do not want gas blowing away. I don't I don't remember if they can damage the cobblestone or not. They might be able to. And if they do, I don't think I actually have blocks with me to repair it. Okay, here we are. This is the that this is where I am probably going to pop back into the overworld 
but I've built, built this fairly, fairly large structure over here to act as kind of like a dramatic into home. So I have the chest, I have like some nice windows out to the world, probably should put some glass in there. Um, but I spent a little bit of time just getting this right. Like, I have stairs going up here in case I want to play around. Here. And I've been trying to light it enough so that I don't get so many skeletons popping out everywhere. I guess in theory I could just keep digging here or just pick somewhere else to just continue the tunnel. But I, I think like at at, uh, at Z equals negative 2600, that's going to be way, way outside the areas that I've explored in the overworld. And we have... I built a, a stairway down to the lower ground floor as well. Kind of cool. Like, we get these neat caverns. And, uh... Yeah, it, it just it feels a little bit like a home. And we have stairs letting us look over to this wall that we... Uh, actually, this wall that we've cozied up to. We didn't build that wall exactly, but... We can see where our corridor came in. All hand-built in survival. Yeah, I've been careful not to ever leave survival in this, just because I think that there's a, a nice honesty in having done that. Like, everything that I've done so far is stuff that I've acquired the materials for through honest uh, mining. But yeah, so this is, this is my gateway. I don't... I might just build the gateway there. Or up there, or downstairs. I really haven't decided yet. But it has the flavor that I'm, I'm looking for. Or at least has a first draft. I might embellish it a little bit more. And I might build a, a thing of glass to really separate that from the upper area. And maybe do some lighting to keep the gas out. But, uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm proud of what I've done here. It's, it's nice. It, it, it has what I would like for this stepping off point. So what I might end up doing is just carrying a, a small starter kit into the new area and spend a, a good amount of time. Now, I guess you can't do anything to me, Mr. Enderman, because I am protected in my two block high thing here. But yeah, there were tons of skeletons around before I uh, started lighting up and covering that area. Still kind of annoying how many skeletons there are, but they can't really get at me thanks to all this. And there's also just, like some nice fossils all, all over the place, actually. We, we come across fossils. Is that another fossil? Yeah, there's, there's just fossils everywhere. So it gives it a, a certain kind of drama uh, to this region. I, I will probably leave those fossils there and probably not touch these areas on this side of that wall. Hello. Aw. Oh. Okay. I have been nice to have gotten some XP from them, but it's kind of hard to hit them in a way that doesn't knock them off. Maybe I should go and collect some of that glowstone. Or some of the other glowstone that I've, I've seen. I definitely should fix that if and when I come back with... Uh, some suitable replacement building materials. Like, I think I popped over there once. Uh, I do not want to have to deal with that. And you can't reach me. Ha ha ha. Yeah, I should just keep moving because I really, really don't want guests screwing up my platform when I have no way to replace it. Like that, guys. I guess in theory I should be saving a lot of these bows for dispensers, but I have so many, uh, so many bows right now I don't really need anymore. I guess if and when I uh, start building rails, I, I will probably get rid of this bit of uh, tree here, or fungus, however you want to classify it. But for now, I'm going to leave it there. Let's just get rid of some of this junk. 
I guess having, uh, having a little bit of leather gear could be helpful when you start needing leather to protect you from the cold. I guess leather, like gold, is just one of those things where they want to give you a reason to have parts of your sets uh, of, of gear be that way. But right now I'm kind of enjoying having a really strong armor game going on. It means that it's very hard for anything to really hurt me. And usually my regeneration from food is fast enough that unless I really get surrounded by, like, uh, hoglins, I am probably going to be okay. There's that arrow. with knockback. Not uh, super useful, but disenchanting can be a, a nice little sort of uh, XP. I've done, which I don't think I've shown off before. I'm hoping that I'm not misremembering, because there's a possibility that I did this sometime back and just am misremembering when stuff happened. But I think that didn't exist before. I think it didn't. If it did, I'm sure I would have shown it off. In any case, um, the other thing... So, I had this long-running project slowly do kind of an inv inverse pyramid digging down to eventually expose bedrock to the sky and to do so using uh just having having it be shaped like an inverse cone and i'm sure i've shown that off several times before in my videos and it's, just, it's gotten deeper and deeper i think i'm probably down to a y equals 14 or 15 now probably 14. um and that's pretty cool and what i've used that rock for is i found some badlands and i might have shown off the badlands before in a previous video or maybe not but I've, um, I've built a sky bridge from, uh, from that inverse cone, uh, to, uh, to the Badlands. Now, that sky bridge, it's not, uh, complete. It, it, there's solid ground leading all the way there, but normally I build my sky bridges kind of the same way that you can see I've built maybe the lower half of this tunnel, where you have it too wide, and then you have a, uh, a raised block on each side. That's, That's my standard sky bridge design. And I know that I... If I ever do start a new world, maybe I'll go with a different sky bridge design. Maybe, maybe I'll decide that I don't mind using more blocks or fewer blocks. Or maybe I'll want a different shape or something like that. I, I'm not really sure. Okay, yeah, that's not open. Not that I, I can, can really fix, fix anything right now, now since I don't have any blocks. blocks. Anyhow, this is. I'm, I'm also looking forward to turning on ray tracing in, in the game. game. I think they're, they're coming pretty close to having ray tracing enableable as a feature. feature. And this is a kick-ass graphics card. Uh, this is a GTX, uh, I mean, sorry, RTX 3090. So it should be pretty good at ray tracing when that gets, uh, uh, when that makes it into a mainline release of Minecraft. Where did that, well, 
three hoglands that I'm most interested in hunting. That did not. That sounded more like a. Um. Like the hogman. Pigman, whatever, whatever they're called. called. Anyhow, yeah, yeah it, it, it definitely a reminder that I need rails, rails since this is a bit, bit of a slog going, going back and forth, forth, although it looks like we're just about at the end. end. Yeah, so, so I should be able to hop on. Now, now one of the mistakes, or well, one of the things I did early on is that I would use a redstone torch buried under the ground to power these things, which is ordinarily pretty great, but it means that you can't turn them off if you want your minecart to stay still, because any monster could hop into one of these and head off at the same speed that you can, which is faster than you can run. And so it, it hasn't been uncommon for me that either I hop out to kill something and then another monster hops in, and so, so I, I have, have to chase, chase my minecart uh, one of these fairly long distances, or just wait for it to, to move out of the rendered zone. Like, like that, that, that sucks. But, but the other thing is, um, sometimes you just show up and it's done because it happened when you weren't looking. And so one of the things I, I plan to do is to convert it, to, uh, at least the, the end pieces, and anywhere that I might want to stop, to use a lever. Anyhow, so now we're back at the entry area to my nether. You see that, yes, I have changed the, the sign to say Deep Umbra. Now the... So we'll head off to what I have termed my sky base. We have a little bit of a wait. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna get some of the dinner out. Some good uh, general tofu for dinner. This is my farm base. This is not where we're going. I haven't really done much of anything here for a while. Um, I mean, it's nice having a farm base, but I, I guess just there's not a lot that I'm getting right now out of having those farms. Because I get most of my food from fighting uh, hoglins out here. And I haven't done alchemy for, uh, for a while. There probably will come a time again when I do more of that, but it's not right now. What I might do at some point is pop out and get my levels back up. Um, I think that I have all these nice, easy exits here. And, and I, I, I'll, I'll use these as a point for fighting Endermen, which are pretty, pretty good for XP, and, and they're kind of entertaining to fight. And anyhow, let's keep moving. And here, here I have covered stuff with glass, um, because, because I, it, was, it happened too often that gasps would 
blast this area, and I didn't want them to damage the track, or in particular damage the ground and cause me to fall, so... crossbows and they, they don't, don't melt down to anything interesting yeah, yeah so let's let's, let's do it this way we'll head out to the badlands and we'll take the sky bridge back and then at the very end of the video we'll see the progress that we've made on digging uh, downwards but for now we're we're going to show off <laughs> for now we're going to show off the, the badlands work that we've done and I really like Badlands. They're they're a pretty cool lands type. I love the glazed terracotta look. I don't have all the terracotta colors yet, but I basically I need to do some farming for dyes and maybe go back. Kind of in my starting area, one of my bases has a semi-automated sheep farm and it's uh, it, a wool farm, and it's not it's not very well. Uh, designed but, but it does uh, it does what's needed at some point i should probably go back and really make uh, do it again in a more organized way in a way that's less less likely to have the sheet get out uh that's um just more effective in general i, I, I could do better but i think over there that was really my first take on what it what, what is, is required to do a good, good job in producing a, uh, a sheep farm. And I'm still, I'm kind of proud that it works. There's a lot that I learned there. Um, basically, initially I thought that observers would notice if a, she if a sheep walked in front of them. And they don't. And I spent a long time trying to convince, trying to build them with that assumption. And then eventually I figured it out. But... 
Um, after, after, after I figured it out that it's really the transition of grass to, to soil that they can observe, that's what gave me the needed insight. But then there was the idea, well, maybe I should instead have them just continually try and snip. And that gave me better results, although I worry a little bit that that might, um, might uh, do more slowdown on the game. Anyhow. We're going to keep heading down, and then we pop over to the... Oh, we pop it over a little too early. Now we pop over to the right. Ah, darn it. Do not want. Okay. Now we're pretty close to our Nether World. And... Okay, let's get some more food while we're here. Okay, up to 54 food. That is good. I, that, that is the reason why I don't really need to do much in the way of, let's just pop into our little hidey hole. I have some junk in here, let's get rid of that. But yeah, I, I thought, let's make the hidey hole just as a kind of a panic room. Okay, and here we have our giant nether portal. I eventually would like to lure a gas through this. Because I found that you can do that. Okay, and here we are. We are. I have a nice uh, base up here. We're gonna pop in and cycle with the clock to daylight. Then we'll pop out and, and give it a look around. Maybe. Uh, I guess. We're not, not really going to do much in the way here, uh, much, much out here, so we can, we won't start melting that stuff down. down. But here, we have this beautiful, um, Badlands. So I've been farming a lot of the terracotta out here, and I also like that for all the caves in, uh, down here, there's a lot of, um, abandoned mine shafts, so you can get a lot of, um, rails and stuff. And this, this area is quite large. And so this is the passage that is the sky bridge back to my, um, to the dig. Area, my, my sky base with the big dig under it. So we'll just walk along here, but I've been enjoying of this fairly large area, just getting all this terracotta, getting all this rail stuff. Having, having it be, be ready, ready for, for future projects. projects. Now, now you'll, you'll notice here I have it uh, three wide. And, and I have all these nice stairs down. down. Um, I, I have it three wide while I'm moving up to the X position of my sky base. And then I, I have my standard uh, two, two wide design after, after that. that. And yeah, there are some gaps in the structure here. Um, I will need to come back when I have, when I've replenished my supply of cobblestone to finish up some of these sidewalls. There's not so much missing on, on this, uh, this leg of the sky bridge, but there, there's a lot more missing on the next step, which is really the long haul, uh, long haul as we move uh, from a Z of, of about 6,500 down to a Z of somewhere around 100, which is where my uh, sky base is. And as you can see here, oh yeah, there's really quite a lot to explore. Um, around here for, uh, for more terracotta and, and for more of those rails. I, I haven't, I've explored such a small fraction here. I have a little bit of a base here. And just because it's not super fun dealing with this stuff when it starts to get dark. But over here too, I have some of these stairs going down. There's a nice swamp down there. I think there's a uh, witch's hut somewhere around here. Kind of 
remember seeing it. I, I don't quite remember where it is. It might, it might be, be on, on the other side, side of this part, part of the... the um, this is part, part of the, 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 the mesa biome. The reason, the reason I, I like, like this design, design is that, that I don't, don't want to risk just automatic, automatic uh, or, or I'm not automatic, I don't want to risk accidentally falling off. Skybridge, so, so having barriers on both sides is nice. Is nice. And it's, it's also nice, I think, to have, um, to have, have some, some walking space along with uh, real, real space. Uh, it's, it's not, not strictly, strictly necessary, necessary, but, it, but, but it's, it's, it's one, one of those nice things. things. And so, so that's, that's why it, this, it's, it's basically the minimum size needed to have both of, the, uh, both both of those characteristics hold true. That, that is, you have rails on both sides so that you're not going to fall off. Is that a broken ether portal way, way over there? there? Might be. Yeah, I'm kind of curious. I'm going to go find out. out. The, the one, one of the reasons, reasons I, I do these sky bridge, bridge things. Oh, it is. Nice. Well, let's actually take care of it then while I'm here. So I, I, I normally don't tend to come back too often, often to visit these things. things. Okay, so what, what I usually like to retrieve from these is that. Well, get it if it's free, but. I don't really, really want to mine, mine for it if it's not. not. That. Um, let's, let's grab, grab this one over here. here. Okay. And is there any and, other and of course the gold brick, brick, which is probably the most useful thing. thing. I mean, I mean, to the, the extent the gold, gold is useful, useful which really it's not super useful in Minecraft, but, but to the extent, extent it, it, it's at least hard to get. Um, that's, that's actually probably everything I need. Uh, yeah, yeah I've, 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 I've never, never noticed that before, that before and it's, it's nice, nice to have it. it. We should, sometimes we should were a little easier to find the abandoned... Uh, okay, so we're going this way, so we're just going to get back... Where we can see, also kind of like, like to grab fallen logs whenever, whenever I spot them. them. They're a little unsightly. Ah, uh, but am I actually full? Yeah, yeah. Um, those, those are easy to get. get. Okay. Um. direction we're going. So let's, let's rocket, rocket our, our way back, back over. over. Okay, okay, I want need to use the second one. one. Do I have the momentum, momentum to get me back? back? It looks like just yes. yes. Good, good, good. Yeah, so, so I, I, I was really, really happy to find this because it's quite, quite a large, large expanse of Badlands, Badlands or, or Mesa. Mesa. Actually, actually, I'm not, not entirely, entirely clear on the difference. I'm hoping I'm not using words wrong. wrong. Um, but but uh, yeah, yeah, there's, there's, there's quite, quite a lot of it. it. And so, so as, as a result, result, I will probably never run out of um, the types, types of terracotta that you, you, you can get. From, from from that, that biome, biome. Which, which is not all the types. types. There, there are, are other types, types and I'll need, need to get, get some dyes to make the, uh, the rest. But at least, at least I think most, most of the types of terracotta, of terracotta you can get from Badlands. Badlands. Now, now we're finally passing out of the Badlands, Badlands area. area. There isn't any more over there. Just a little, little bit more over there. there. But, but yeah, yeah, it's, it's quite, quite a, a large expanse of Badlands.
And, and you, you can, can see, see that, that this, this is an incomplete sky bridge. Sky bridge. As, As I, I mentioned before, before I, I think I actually is uh, nobody passed it. I'm sure that there was a, 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 a large, large kind of cool looking, looking witch's, witch's hut somewhere out, out here. here. In, in any, any case, case, yeah, I should, I'll, I'll have, have to come, come back when I have, when I've replenished my supply, cobblestone, cobblestone to finish up uh, the sky bridge. But, but yeah, I, I, know I know that not everybody is going to play Minecraft this way. way. I, I, I don't have neat redstone, redstone contraptions to show you. I am not, not doing, doing speed runs. I'm not, I'm not exploiting glitches, glitches or anything like that, like that but... but I'm showing, I'm showing you why, why, uh, uh, I, I, why I find my Minecraft to be an enjoyable game. game. It's, it's, just, it's, it's having these big projects, big projects that, that I can undertake. Having, having this world, world that I can shape. shape. That, that is pretty, pretty nice. nice. And just, just knowing that there's, there's a lot, lot of things that I can build. And there's, there's no... The, the game, game isn't going, going to get, get in my way. way. Now, now there, there are some, some things that you can't build because, because it's so block-oriented. But there's, there's a lot that you can build. build. The game. Is it getting to be nighttime yet? Yeah, yeah, kind, kind of is. is. So I, I am going, going to get this, this ready. Plop down. down. And then it, it starts, starts to get dark. dark. Generally, I like to do so on the, on the areas, areas where, where I have guardrails on both sides. sides. Okay, okay, it's starting, starting to turn, turn orange. orange. So that, that is, is my sign. sign. Okay, not, not quite, quite nighttime, nighttime yet, yet, but it will, will be very shortly. shortly. There, there we go. go. Okay, I might want to make, make sure he is going down. down. But this, this is why I find it satisfying. satisfying. A lot, a lot of stuff, stuff that you can build. Can build. Um, the it's 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 it's, it's, it's very, very interactive. In some ways, it reminds, it reminds me of Second Life, which, which I was into for a while uh, a few years, years back. back. Actually, probably, probably a lot of years back, back now. And Second, and Second Life is uh, it is probably it's, it's a lot more scriptable. Its physics model is a lot more sophisticated. But, but the, the problem with Second Life is you, you're you living on somebody else's server and, and you're paying rent. rent. And, and at least at, at the time I found that to be a little annoying. annoying. Plus, Plus you, you were, were dealing with somebody else's, else's rules, uh, which, which I found to be a lot more annoying. annoying. Um, I, don't I don't want anybody telling me what, what I can, uh, what I can build, build, what I can say, so on. And so having all this live on my computer, I mean, there, there isn't, isn't anybody, anybody else. else. Like, this, this is an entirely private world. world. And, and I guess, I guess at, at some point, point I might try, try my, my Minecraft realms if I find a group of people to play with. Play with. But, but even, even there, there's, there's the concern that, that Minecraft support might decide, like, we're, we're going to try, try and be welcoming. And, and what, what that apparently means is excluding anybody who isn't woke and progressive and so on. And that's... Annoying, annoying, like having, having uh, rules, rules on speech, speech and, what and what you can say and stuff like that. That, that really, really shouldn't, shouldn't shouldn't be a thing, thing but it, it is. Uh, and so, so if, if I were to do to have to ever ever make, make a realm, realm, I would potentially have to deal with that. But at least right now I don't. Like, like I can. It is, it is just me, and that, that that's, that's that's a minus. A minus but but there's just there's a lot of freedom. There's a lot of serenity. There's a lot of room for projects. This is kind, kind of interesting. interesting. The swamp intersected by, by I guess this, this is ocean. ocean. Any, Anyhow. Um, but, the but the notion that, that like, if I wanted to, I could build a, a, um, a village out here. here. Could build, build land, build houses, houses and somehow, somehow get, get some villagers, villagers to come. To come. Um, that's, that's neat. neat. Uh, and... and I, I, I could just keep on spending time, a little, little bit of time here and there, there over weeks and months, and, months and potentially years. years. I haven't been playing Minecraft for a full, full year, year yet, yet, I don't think. think. But the fact that I could, and very likely will, 
be playing with a certain amount of frequency for the foreseeable future. Uh, that's that's appealing. Uh, this is a little annoying to have an area where I don't have any side rails at all because I need to be a little more careful here not to just slowly drift off because of the angle that I'm holding the, the gamepad and controller. Like, I, I like that when you have the guide rails, you really don't have to pay attention. You just point in a general direction and you're not going to fall. Or even like one guide rail. But lacking both, that's, uh, that's no good. Now in terms of other things I've been doing, I've been enjoying Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Although unfortunately I hit a glitch in one of the uh, main storyline quests, so I can't pr proceed any further in the game. Basically there's a quest, uh, I mean a lot of quests you're talking to people after you do stuff and they'll advance the quest. Here I talked with them and they told me what to do next but it didn't advance the quest and I can't talk to them again. So I'm stuck and I'm dealing with Ubisoft support there. But um, otherwise, like, I, I was enjoying the game until I, I got stuck. Um, hopefully they'll have a fix for that soon and hopefully I won't have to revert back to a very old save. Um, the other... Uh, I've been enjoying Hades which is a nice kind of arcade style uh, game with really good music. Um, like that, that's been quite enjoyable. Um, other than that, I've, I've just been enjoying reading. I, unfortunately, I lost one of my, uh, one of my cats recently and that's been kind of rough. I've, been with that cat for 19 years uh, and yes I am in my early 40s so uh, like I was not particularly little when I got that cat but you, you get really attached to a, a cat over that length of time and that was of the two cats that I had that was the cat that was a lot more like a dog like there was a cat that always wanted affection that was happy to be grabbed that liked to snuggle all the time um, very, very tolerant. Uh, I still have another cat um, that's also about 19 years old, and she, she's nice, but she's not like... Uh, my bond with her is not as strong as it was uh, with him. And, like, she, all the affection is on her terms, and she sometimes doesn't want to be petted. And she's very demanding and... Yeah, it's, uh, in any case, losing a cat is really rough. And I, I'm still some, sometimes getting choked up thinking about him. I think there's also just this horrible thing that you have to deal with with an old cat and that when you put them down, you have to just deal with remembering the, the experience of taking them to a vet and having them sit there with an IV ready to be injected with what will first knock them out and then end their life. That's not a memory that you really want to have. It's it's a rough memory. And, like, I think if I could forget that memory... What, what did I put this down here for? There was something nearby that was interesting. Usually I don't do a double torch unless there's something interesting. Oh, yeah, I think there's another portal down there. But yeah, you, you don't want to remember that. That's it's a really unpleasant memory. I I I guess if I could have that memory be taken right out of my head, I probably would, or at least significantly fogged up. But he was such a fantastic cat, and and I I really miss him. Um. Otherwise, like. Not too much is going on. We're we're in the waning time of the year. Uh, like now that uh, I think this is Thanksgiving, but after this, it's a pretty short road uh, to um, to the holidays, and so work tends to people start disappearing. Probably starting now for uh, for the rest of the year, and with COVID. Like, otherwise, I, I sometimes would go to Pittsburgh uh, for their New Year's celebration, and that's definitely not happening. But there, sometimes in New York, I would, uh, for, for New Year's, uh, 
I would go to New Year's festivities, and those are probably also not happening. Uh, it's unpleasant to be outside because you got to wear a mask, or at least you really should. So just this has been a really unpleasant year, and, and having having COVID still raging across the country while it's happening, like it just it sucks for everybody. And and I I understand that it it's not just the United States where it sucked, but there's this, and then there's all the election nonsense that it's it's been kind of a stressful, unpleasant time. Uh, and hopefully, like, we're near the end of the election nonsense. Maybe we're not quite, but hopefully soon. Uh, I mean, like, the results are, are, are mostly in, and the results are pretty good on the presidential level, maybe less good on the House, okay on the Senate level. Um, but, but yeah, it, it's, it's messy, and I don't want to talk too much about politics right now in this video. Um, need to see this, like, really, really dense forest here. In any case, um, yeah, so I think we're starting to come up on, um, where we're headed. And I guess, like, in, to a certain extent, yeah, you, it looks like there's villages on both the left and the right here up ahead. Looks like maybe a zombie village to the left. Because I think I can kind of see some missing tiles. There is, and is the right... For some reason, Bedrock, I've been told that, that Java Edition, in Java Edition, the zombie villages, the abandoned villages, I think is what they're officially called, are much rarer. Uh, actually, looks like the, that one might be another zombie village. I can't... It looks a little bit irregular. I can't, can't really tell. Uh, let's just go find out. Are you... Zombie village? No, you're not. Okay, well, let's actually pop down then and go to sleep in one of the beds. Okay. Is it bedtime yet? And does somebody own this bed yet? There's still that weird phenomenon of even if it's not a zombie village, a lot of these villages just don't have villagers for some reason. I'm not sure why. That might just be... Oh, oh, okay, this one does. Cool. Hello. Huh? Huh. Oh, and you're one of those guys that has bells. Although they're quite expensive. Yeah, for some reason you can't craft bells in, in Minecraft. I, I guess they really want you to trade for them. Maybe it's just an incentive to make sure that trading is, is uh, relevant. Anyhow, yeah, a lot of these side villages, I've, I haven't visited them yet. I think this is probably my first visit to this one. Let's see if we can get lift off here. Okay, and let's see if we can make it. Can we make it? Uh, I'm going to guess no, but we'll give it a shot. Uh, barely. Okay. Oh, oh. Okay, good. Because we did make it, and you can see up ahead. That is what we're looking for. Yeah, at some point I should probably craft myself a better Neithrite sword. I like that this has... Uh, that this will light things on fire primarily, because that means that I can get cooked. Uh, cooked, what is it called? Cooked pork chop from the Hoglands. Uh, because uh, if I kill them while they're on fire, that's what they drop rather than uncooked. So that's cool, but um, there's a lot of other enchantments on this thing that are just silly. Uh, like Bane of Arthropods, that's not that useful. Uh, I guess actually maybe that's the only one, but I think I might be able to trade that out for some other en enchantment that would be a little bit more generally useful. Maybe. Ooh. Sleepy. Okay. So 
here I just decided to fill in a little bit of the side of this thing and make a little bit of staircase stuff going down. There's another village. I probably mentioned one of the things I like to do with villages when I first visit them is to make them safe just based on the theory that maybe the reason that I keep on finding villages that look perfectly good but there are no villagers in there is that the villages are unsafe and they end up falling to their death really easily. So I'll spend a little bit of time closing up gaps to the underground, uh, just anything that could uh, kill them. And I try and make their, their paths a little bit more usable. And these villages, they're really packed closely together. Okay, yeah, we are coming up on this structure, which the structure itself has not changed a lot. Although I planted a tree up there that you can kind of see, well, one we foot through this tree, you'll, you'll kind of see the tree that I planted on the upper area. But the new thing here is this connection to this sky bridge. But I've also done a lot more careful carving out of the ground around the rivers. Basically, the, the goal with this has always been, since I started this project, to have the rivers be supported on fairly thin bits of soil and floating in the air above the, uh, above the ground. And I think this is probably a good vantage point. You, you, you see a little bit more on the other side. You see a little bit more of the curve out. Uh, it's actually just top down there. Okay, there we go. Uh, it does unfortunately mean that a lot of the time I'll find sheep that have fallen very long distances to their death might be about to see that, actually. Or not. They're not super sensible. But just this is a lot deeper than it was before. Let's actually head all the way down to show how deep it is. And it's deep enough that we're, we, we see gold. Okay, oh, we're down to, uh, okay, Y equals 15. So that's pretty low. We're not yet at the level where we need to start worrying about bumping into bedrock. When we hit that level, that might be the end of the project. Because I don't want to start doing irregular shapes that I can't fix. But... Oh, goodness. Is there... Okay, this is where the... Uh... But, but it's, it's gone, gone so it's, it's gone well so far, and I love these nice geometric shapes. I love that I'm finding caves, and eventually they get dug out as as we keep pushing the triangle downwards. Um, there used to be a mountain over here, and I have removed it. And we have some amusing floating trees with a little bit of soil underneath them. And, uh, but otherwise, this should be pretty much the, the, the same. But I still will probably keep on coming up with new ideas for the projects. I mean, certainly this pathway, I wasn't expecting to extend it. But then after finding that Badlands stuff, I thought, well, it's nice to be able to have a pathway to view all the sites between these points, so I did it. And I guess there's the other thing that when I built this, I was confused and I thought that the height, that the build limit was something like 125. I have since read a little bit more about this and I now know that 125 is not the limit and I think it's 255 is the limit. So I conceivably could build uh, up higher Although, if, if I was, was going to do that, that I kind of wish that I'd started earlier, because uh, I, it would, 
I don't really want to move stuff, but also it would kind of do weird things to the look to just build stairs further, and it would cast shadows down there that would make working down there more dangerous. But uh, something to think about. In any case, uh, I think, like to a certain extent, the the new terrain generation for hills, the old terrain generation is actually pretty good. Like I like the look of these mountains out here. I think they they look nice. So I'm curious how things will change with the uh, hills and caves updates. Uh, I mean, I guess the mountains might be higher, but. Who knows, knows uh, what, what, what else, else we'll see. Maybe, Maybe things, things will look better, better yet. Uh, I guess it's, it's, it's hard to really know um, until these features arrive. But, but I, th I think we're, we're all looking forward to that. I guess we have probably at least nine months uh, to wait before we start seeing that. Um, in any case, so that's, that's what I've got. That, those are the changes that have happened in my world since the last video, to my recollection. There might have been some other minor changes. I really doubt that there's anything significant that I'm forgetting. Um, and uh, yeah, maybe I'll do another one of these in late December if I have anything else in this that I feel is worth talking about. Um, I'm by no means an expert in Minecraft, but if anybody has any questions about how I did something or what are my thoughts on something, I'd be happy to share. Uh, otherwise, um, I hope that uh, anybody watching this is having a, uh, having a good holiday and having uh, at least a reasonable time dealing with COVID and all that. Um, uh, well, uh, be well, stay safe. Uh, safe, safe and, and um, take, take care, care of yourself. Bye. Bye.